Hey, what's up guys? So um, this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to change the rear bicycle tire tube, the inner tube on the Daehong Vibe D7. And obviously this should apply to a lot of um, other uh, folding bikes from Daehong, um, provided you got one of those old school uh, nut and bolts type of the uh, rear hub. So. Um, I'm going to show you guys step by step how to take the um, the wheel out of the bike and then get the exterior tube out and then replace the inner tube. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing first, actually, I think I'm going to remove this bike rack because I, I don't really use it much and I think it's kind of in the way. So uh, let me do that first. So I have the... Um the back rack removed and uh, next thing uh, talk about some of the tools needed for changing the tires uh, obviously this is optional but uh, if you're servicing your bicycle a lot a hex wrench set is and metric hex wrench set is most definitely um, required um, phillips uh, screw head driver and uh, it's also got exchangeable tips so i can i can use this for general maintenance um, you need a, this to grab the cables if you need to service any of the derailleur or the, the brake cables. Um, but this is what I'm going to use today to um, change the inner tube. So I bought this at Walmart. It's about $7. And uh, so it comes as a kit of three tire levers, a 15 millimeter um, wrench. Uh, that's actually used to remove uh, the bolt over there and uh, also it comes with uh, a little like grinding like stuff to repair the tube so i'm not going to use the repairing kit i'm only going to be using the tire lever and the wrench okay but if you're in a pinch you're outside and you just carry this little toolbox if you get a flat and you have a pump you can use the included patch to repair the inner tube to get you back home and then you can put a brand new uh, inner tube on there so i always you know the the repairing kit is only for temporary purpose i never when i repair the tube i never really use a repair tube i always change it to a brand new tube um, that way it's it's much more safer uh, less chance of getting a flat again and i bought this 20 inch um, slime tube that automatically self seals because i don't want any surprises anymore on the road and the slime actually works pretty good on my car tires so i know it's probably going to do a pretty good job on the bicycle tire tire as well and this comes as a value pack of two from walmart for about 13 dollars so six dollar for a slime tube is really not that bad okay so this is the tube i'm going to be using to replace the actual broken tube in there but we're going to take a look and try to find where the tube actually um, burst it so we know next time uh, what to expect okay so again this is my first folding bike but for sure not my first bicycle um, the maintenance on this actually requires a, a little more work compared to the the road bike and the mountain bike I had before because of the way the hub is set up it's um, it's a little more uh, steps involved so okay let's get started so first thing first I'm going to get the the wheel out of the uh, bike first, which I'm going to be using my wrench over here and then the little wrench over here. Let's see which one is easier. So the first thing you do is actually reset the gear to the highest. That way um, you have more room to take the wheel out. So that's what I'm going to do. So once it's at highest, we can uh, start removing the bolts and actually i'm just gonna use my wrench adjust the wrench over here and just loosen the bolt a little bit and it's probably best to do it with two hands obviously i'm holding my phone with one hand so rotate it counterclockwise and you'll be able to Losing the boat eventually. Mm -hmm. 
So you can also loosen this side just uh, a little bit as well. Let's see, counterclockwise. And once it's loosened, you know, it, it's pretty easy to take everything out. So with the bolts loosened, um, the last thing you have to do is actually release the brake so you can take the tires out. So what I'm doing is basically I just pinch the V-brakes and try to get this little metal piece out of the, the bracket in here. Like so. So that released the brake and the brake is wide open. Now you can take the, um, take the wheel out completely. So let me try to change the angle a little bit. Let's get it just press here a little bit and get it out. So the wheel's out and next step we're gonna take the outer tube out and inspect what's going on with the inner tube. Okay, so I, I don't really see, you know, any nails on the outer tube. So um, first thing first, I'm basically just going to take the outer tube out, uh, exposing the inner tube. Okay, so that's that's when you actually need the, the tire lever for the most part. And let's go ahead and do that. A 14 and 15 millimeter wrench. And your fix a flat um, tubes. So again, I'm not gonna use those. Actually take the uh, outer tube out. So basically grab one of your lever. And since it's already flat, you're gonna remove the cap first and use the little hooked area, grab the tube, and then fix the other end to one of the spoke. Use the other lever to fish the rest of the tube out like so and you just do this motion and everything will come out okay once one side is out it's really easy to take everything out you can just fish the inner tube and grab it out and then we're gonna inspect what's going on with the inner tube so when you are at This area you can probably just take everything out and uh, leave the hub on the side. Take a look at the other tube. So, what you can do always is um, just pump the air back in here and then see what caused the leak and where is the leak. Okay, so we'll find the pump. And because it just moved, I do not have a full pump, but this is my very trustworthy pump. I highly recommend for all kinds of bikes, road bike, mountain bike, 20 inch bike. This is a great handheld pump. Okay, so I'm just gonna pump some air in it really quick. And see what's going on. the leaking right here so it looks like I'll show you guys Did you hear it so it's this area it looks like a sharp nail just you know pierced through like a glass shard and just pierced pierced through um, caused this little leak and um, so hopefully with the slime, this can be fixed or this shouldn't cause too much of an issue because the slime would be able to fill it and the slime tire is actually extra thick, okay? So um, I'm just gonna toss this out. Again, you are able to fix it with uh, this little tool, you know, fairly quickly on the road, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that in this video. Okay, I'm just gonna put a new tube in, which is a slime tube. 
and I'm trying to find the area in here to make sure the inner, inner side is flat. There's no other pieces in here. Actually, I found the area. Um, so this is what's cost the flat. Um, it's actually a little stone, a stone piece pinched through the tire went all the way to the other side right here so and then in turn that pinched the inner tube and caused the flat so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to try to push it out look at that it's a glass shard okay so gotta be really careful Really careful. Wow, look at that. So, since my exterior tube is also kind of damaged, I'm going to actually look for a much more durable exterior tube. This is cam with the bike. It's very entry level, um, not well protected. So that would be a future project, which is get new exterior tubes for the day home for football bike. Okay. Um, at this point, I got the glass out and we can put the new tube in without too much worry. So let's take a look at the slime, actual 20 inch extra thick self sitting tube. It's, um, it's very soft and actually it feels softer than the, the old tube I had, which is probably a good tank tube. Um, and again, it comes in two pack. I'm going to use one pack today and for the 20 inch they usually use shredder valves which is right here and take it out it's actually quite a lot heavier than the the just the air tube okay but um, it also is much much thicker so if that does anything and your standard Schrader valve they have a little toolkit for removing the um, the inner but you don't really need to use that tool okay and we're gonna put we're gonna pump the air in the tube a little bit so we can just directly put it on the hub really quick thing to do get your wheel and find the area of where the hole is supposed to go and just push it in there and uh, as you can see it's dangling a little bit which is okay because you're gonna release the air a little bit to make sure You can put the exterior tube in here. Okay. So what you're gonna do is actually very first thing is put the exterior tube on the bike first. Okay. So the tube, uh, I think it's directional, but let me check. So if the tube is directional, you have to. Um, line up the arrow direction with the movement of the bike so if the bike is set up this way it should be like this okay so just make sure the direction is correct and you're going to align one edge put one edge in first leave the other edge out because you're going to put the tube in there okay so like so 
Next step is just find the, the little hole again, get the shader valve in, and then work your way to get the whole tube in the in the back. Okay. And try to have the upper tube coloring the the inner tube. Kind of tricky on the smaller tires actually. On the larger, like mountain bike and road bike tires, it's really, really easy. On a smaller one, a little more tricky. So I pumped some air into the, the tube to make it easier to stuff it in and without pinching the, the inner tube, okay? Basically, you're just gonna fish your way and work your way back to hide the tube inside the exterior tube. Next, uh, what I usually do is I go from where the valve is and I just pull the exterior tube back a little bit to try to get one side of the ridge, the other side of the ridge, into into the um, into the rim. Okay, so just grab it and I work my way. Slowly but steady to just get the other side of the rim uh, of the rim into the ridge. And at the end, it might be very hard to do. That's when you have to use the tire lever again. So over here, this is the leftover area. And you always want to have the leftover area um, on the other side of where the valve is to prevent damage. Okay, so now the tire lever is gonna come to work again basically also still use a ridged area and but this time you're gonna use the ridge to actually grab the the rim the, the edge of the rim over here and then pry it up to get the the last bit in there okay it's gonna take some force actually so don't don't worry about prying it up and you just need to get it in there and once you kind of work your way to get it in there, you can get the last bit in there really easy. Okay, so now you have just we have just installed the and replaced the inner tube. Of course, you want to fill it with air according to spec. So for this tire, the uh, pressure is forty to sixty psi, and that's where I'm gonna fill the the pressure to. Okay. So good thing I have a little gauge on this on this little pump, which is why I really like this pump a lot. So I can know exactly the pressure that I need. Okay. So I'm gonna start pumping. I'm sure if you can see it. to make sure everything's working just fine. Okay. So the advantage with this hand pump is this handle. It's designed to push down instead of, you know, using your hands. Um, so this way it gives it a much quicker, much more uh, pushing force when you actually need to pump uh, some higher pressure tires. Okay, let's like really, really help. Go to sixty. And as you can see, it's already sixty. So make sure your pressure is always set correctly. Okay, so I just did it. And I'm gonna pull it out. So, next step is uh, just the reverse order of putting the wheel back onto the bike. So, 
reverse order. Um, make sure your nuts is loosened. There's uh, more room to play around. And then we're gonna just put it simply drop it back in there. You want to always grab your derailleur to make sure it's extended all the way, which in this case is already is. Get your cassette in between the two chains and kind of just line it up to the highest gear. Then we're just gonna put it on and push it in there. I'm gonna tighten it. So you always want to tighten the two screws um, kind of evenly. So I do a little bit of tightening over here on this side, and then I go to the other side and tighten it a little more on the, the other side as well, until it's, it feels nice and secure, okay? All right, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So that's how you replace the inner tube on a day home for pull back. Um, if you have a quick release, it works a lot more quicker. And if you do this more than once, you should be able to do um, other, you know, changes, especially the front, much, much quicker and easier, okay? It really is, there isn't much to it. It's just, you have to do it for the first time to know the steps um correctly changing the tubes okay and actually for the 20 inch tube it's actually much much easier to do than a um a road bike 700 uh, c road bike okay because there just isn't much force required to get the tube in and out all right so that's it if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me in the can uh, comment section down below hey so uh one last thing don't forget to reconnect your brake um, when you finish changing the tires. Okay, so it should look like this with the thing catch, uh, get caught in the little bracket over here. And that's when your brake is correctly reconnected. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in my next video.